What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here uh, with my new project, Marty Music. I really appreciate your support by subscribing to this channel. And if you really want to support me, you can go over to martymusic.com, sign the newsletter, and I'll love you forever. Anyway, this is a uh, heavily requested song, and it's the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Soul to Squeeze. Lots of you uh, wanted this, so I'm giving it to you guys. I think I whipped up a nice little uh, lesson for you that, that will help. Uh, oh, also, if there's another lesson you'd like to learn, anything, anything at all, let me know in the comments. If you've noticed in the other videos, I'm answering just about as many comments as I can, almost all of them. So I really appreciate that continued support. All right, let's start learning. So we're going to start with the A chord where we use the one finger approach. So it's covering the second fret, D, G, and B. Although I'm not really ever playing the B string in there, so it's more of like an A power chord. Start with the open A string. And then we go down. Back to the open A. Then this is all stuff from the A major pentatonic scale. start with the chord then we're uh, we're gonna try and get that a to be ringing out see how that's ringing out when I go back to the bend so it's gonna be fourth fret on the G string I bend it up and release it to that second fret all the while the open E's ringing I mean the open a is ringing out See that? Then we're going to go da da. Right, even as we're releasing the bend, we're already going back to the A string. So that next move is da 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 da. And so it's two times on the open A. Do, do. I'm barring that little ache shape. And I'm going to hammer on to the fourth fret of the D string. And then hit the G string. But you want the vibe of the chord ringing out. You know, it's all this one little kind of technique. So we go back to the open A chord and we're kind of doing a doom gong dang a dun dun ga do ga da do do da do do boo da do do and so the boo da do do which I just randomly singing out loud we're sliding the ring finger from the fourth fret up to the 6th fret, and then the middle finger is catching the 5th fret of the B string. Classic pentatonic extension. You immediately pick the G again and slide back down. That's the move. So you gotta constantly be thinking of this shape and all the rest of the stuff is just kind of bouncing around that shape right there. You hear how the open A was, I was still letting that open A string ring out as I did. See that? into the song. So uh, that move here, see that slide back, back, pulling right back off to where I'm in that zone again. So the first two little moves. Then it 
does the first one again. Then it does a variation. You're just kind of picking out the chord and we go. So it's going to be a little nudge down, a little, uh, little middle finger on the third fret of the low E, chord, bend, chord. So a Frushanti special from the top. Again. Now a new one, but almost identical. So that new one, it's the exact same thing where you slide from the four to the six on the G string, but then middle finger is going to hit, instead of the B string this time, we're going to hit the high E. quick, I'm using uh, my Line 6 M9 Stomp Box Modeler with a chorus setting and it's like barely to where you can hear any chorus effect. So that's kind of how I'm mimicking. People ask about, tell us your amp settings, Marty. My amp settings are always the same. It's just kind of like 12 o'clock, super clean, tube amp tone. I always keep it clean and then modify the tones with the pedal. So the only pedal I have right now is a little a little drip drop of chorus. All right? Here's the intro again. I'll play it regular speed. Let me do that again. Now let me try and do it slow. Now, I realize I'm not picking every single individual note the exact same way every time. I'm kind of jingle jangling the A chord a bit and getting the specific licks in there. I'll try and do it slow for you now. So that's only the intro. We've only covered the intro so far, so there's more to go. Um, next, let me show you the, the basic chords of the, the bulk of the song. It's F. And don't worry, I'll show you the, the, the little stuff, but F bar chord. And then C suspended two, which sounds harder than it is. It's really like um, you're barring the third fret and then you're playing the fifth on the D, fifth on the G, but you're barring it, so you get this third fret on the B string. And you can get the high E in there as well. So it's just a different way, a more interesting C chord, right? It's substituting for a regular old C chord. So here we go, F bar chord, C suspended two, D, a D minor, so we bar the fifth fret and make an A minor looking shape. And then a B flat major seven. And here's how we're gonna do that. My index finger is gonna go to the B flat note. 
and that's all you change. So that stays the same as D minor. And when we play the B flat major, you don't really want the high E in there. We're gonna be doing that later in the chorus, but I'm just kind of letting my palm mute out that high E. So we've got F major, C suspended two, D minor, B flat major seven. Then D minor, F major up here, so we're barring the eighth fret and the ring fingers across like an A major chord. Then C major, which you're barring in the same spot, but then this becomes an E looking shape, so. Like that. So don't worry, I'll show you that rhythm, but we got F, C, then G minor. So we're barring the third fret, and then this looks like an E minor shape. And then a really cool thing, you can make it G minor nine by just taking your pinky and adding it to the fifth fret of the high E. Watch this, and it's called G minor nine. So here it is again, F, C suspended two, D minor, B flat major seven, F major, C major, G minor, and then you can add the G minor nine. And here's how we add some of that Hendrix kind of stuff. Kind of hit the root and then the chord. So I'm sliding, I'm using my pinky, I'm sliding from three to five on the low E. And then getting that third fret of the A string into that C sus too. So you've got a little, kind of a little bass line going. We go D minor to B flat major seven. But uh, it's not on the original recording, but especially if you're messing around by yourself, it's kind of nice to go. I just like it. That's what Flea's doing that little line, but it's five, seven, eight on the A string into B flat major seven. So check it out. So we go D minor, F major, C major. We're going da 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 just for that little part, like. And when it goes from F to C, it's it's a it's like a it's a beat before the even count. So it's like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So it just goes to that C a little bit early. Recommend you playing along with the song to hear that. Uh...
So now I'm going to show you the chords that are going on for the chorus, which are really just, you know, variations of what we're already doing. So check it out. The chorus is F to C, so where, and you just let them ring out. So the first time, where I go, I see, don't know, right? We got to, got to, got to take it slow. But so here's what's going on. It's a F major bar chord regular. Where I go, I C, C, C. But now instead of the full D minor, just take what you think of as an A minor shape, scoot it up here to where uh, your index gets to the sixth fret of the B. And we're going to let the high E ring out and start the strum on the D. You hear that? That's called a D minor, D minor add nine of that high E. And then the then when we go to B flat, since we're in this shape, the index finger is going to stay. These come off and we're going to do middle finger on the seventh of the G, ring on the eighth of the D. And that is a very weird B flat major chord. Don't worry about the low E and A on that. It's like a B flat sharp four, I believe. Well, here we go from the chorus. F major, I, C major. This weird D minor with the high E, then B flat with the high E. Then when we go back to F again, now we're going to have the high E ring out for that. So if you can think of a, like an A major chord with the open E, you bring that all the way up. So instead of a bar, we're doing that. So we can get the high E to ring out. When I find my... Then... The shape we were doing for B flat major here, we're doing for C major. So it's 10, 9, 8, open high E. So, when I find my peace of mind, then we go back to that little A minor cluster with the high E ringing out for D minor. I'm gonna show you some of, and on the word, the lyric, my, it goes down to a regular A minor. I'm gonna show you some of my good. And then the word time is a B flat major chord right here, which is just barred on the first fret, and then that A looking thing here. And that is almost the whole song, all right? I know there's a lot to cover. Possibly why, I took, why it took me this long to teach the song. So here's the chorus again. The first time through, F major then just to C. D minor weird thing then B flat weird thing. F with the open E, C with the open E. D minor da 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 da. So then it's just bass, drums, and vocals, and he's doing little stuff in the D minor scale. So little volume swells right here, tenth of the B. Tenth of the high E, and then you've got this little piece that he's just kind of noodling around. He's just staying back a little bit. This kind of stuff, you know, ten. Eight, six, five, little bits of stuff like that. Then you've got the whole chorus again. So 
So there's a little bit of a solo, and it's really the vocal melody, and it's a layered thing. So one thing's slide, one thing's guitar, but it's really just the D minor pentatonic scale. There's a lot of different ways to play that scale. Um, so uh, let's do this. Ten slid, slid down to eight on the B string. Ring finger on the ten of the G. Slid up to twelve. And you can slide it up again or bend it up. Release to the 10 of the G. So here it is again. Back to 10 on the B. So 10, 10, 10, 13. Twelve on the G, ten on the G, and then um, you, it's really a slide, so you could go ten, slid to twelve, and then uh, ten on the G. So check it out. Variation of that same thing again. So, whole step bend on the 12 of the G. Then we're going to, with the index finger, bend the 10 of the G and back down to the 12 of the D. And then finally, so this time we're going to bend the 13 of the B. So da, 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 da. And there's like I said there's different ways to play this. So I'm just trying to think of the best one. Probably that. So Ten, ten, cha, 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 cha. ten, 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 bend the 13, back down. Then we're going to do ten, eight, six, five, interlude. And I'll show you the interlude. We're covering a lot here, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, from the top of the solo. D minor to C, then A minor, D minor, C, A minor, A minor, D minor, C. But on the A minor, it sounds to me like he's just playing octaves for the A, so it'd be five, on the E and seven on the D with the A string muted. And when that interlude's over, it goes, it's that A minor, right? A hit on B flat major seven that we've already played in the song. So.
good was the lesson uh chili peppers soul to squeeze hope you had a lot of fun it's obviously a classic tune that you guys wanted and i gave it to you right here at marty music and uh, thanks for the continued support subscribing checking the links below social media you know any anything like that because this is where i am marty music i'm here to stay love you guys so much and uh thanks again we'll see you later mm -hmm.